Want to learn how to be irresistible to men and how to make any man fall in love with you? If so, this video is for you. Stay tuned and watch. This is Alexandra Villajuel Abrego and welcome back to Alexandra TV, where every Wednesday I share with you the best coaching strategies and techniques to create the life of your dreams and to become the best version of yourself. Now make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss the new videos which come out every Wednesday. And you can also go on my website, alexandravillajuel.com and subscribe to my email list and I will send your way a free gift. So make sure you do that before we continue. What is that thing that makes some women Men irresistible to men and others completely invisible to men. Now, I know a lot of people will argue that it's all about the looks, you know, that it's how a woman looks, uh, whether it be her physique, whether it be her body, her face, or even the way that she dresses, that that's what makes the difference. However, I know a lot of women out there who are not necessarily attractive to what society considers attractive to be, yet they always get the attention of men. And there's other women who are completely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful women, yet they never get that, that attention from men. You know, when let's say they're at a bar or at a club or at a restaurant or anywhere, sometimes men are more drawn to other women. And sometimes when you look at these women, a lot of people will say, well, they're not what usually is considered as being attractive, right? Now they say, of course, that beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, but we all can agree. I think Think that some women can be very, very beautiful and attractive, yet men don't fall in love with them. Men don't find them irresistible. And some women are not necessarily the most attractive women, yet some men are really crazy about them and they all of a sudden have this kind of irresistible feel to them. So what is the thing that some women have and some women don't. Some people will say that it's sex appeal, but in actuality, it really isn't because there's a lot of women out there who can be very sexual in the way that they talk, in the way that they move, in the way even that they dress, yet they're not getting the kind of attention that they want and especially uh, not from the kind of man that they want. So perhaps they're getting a lot of attention from uh, low quality men. So they definitely don't want that and you definitely don't want that, of course. Now, if you want to become irresistible, not only to men, uh, but to really everyone, if you want to be the kind of woman who walks into a room and all heads turn because your energy is so strong, well, your secret lies somewhere. It lies in a place where a lot of women nowadays are going to neglect. And in a few moments, I'm going to explain to you why. If you're not familiar with the world of spirituality, I really recommend you reading about the seven chakras. Uh, it's the seven sources of energies that we all have. As women, the chakra that is most important in us is the sacral chakra. And this is where your power as a woman is. It's where your womb is and it's the second chakra. The first chakra is the root chakra. And for men, that's the most important chakra for men. The root chakra, which is a chakra about security, about, also, of course, financial security, about confidence, that's for the men. The woman, the chakra that is most important for us is the sacral chakra, where all of our power really lies. So if a woman, is the most beautiful, gorgeous woman on earth. Perhaps she's successful, uh, she is funny, she is intelligent, but her sac second chakra, her sacral chakra is closed, she will be invisible, not only to men, but really to everyone, because this is where our power is. Nowadays, there's a lot of women, unfortunately, who have a sacral chakra, which is a sexual chakra also, closed because they are spending all of their energy, all of their time focusing on the root chakra and the root chakra, the base chakra, it's all about security. So if let's say a woman is constantly struggling to survive and she's working hard and she's trying to find, get money, you know, and trying to, uh, trying to make more money for her family and for her kids, if let's say she's single, well, she is invisible very often to men and not, not, not because she's not beautiful, not because she's not a wonderful woman, not because she's not intelligent. Absolutely not. She's all of these things. She might be also successful and intelligent and beautiful and sexy, but when, uh, she walks into a room, then men don't turn around to look at her. And simply because her energy as a woman is completely shut down because she's taken all of the energy from the sacral chakra and pulling it to the root chakra. You know, back then when men, when men were the providers and women weren't working, all women, their root chakra was, was fine, you know, because they had that security 
from the man who worked on his root chakra, who's taking care of that. Now, of course, there are different things that you can do to open your sacral chakra, your second chakra. You can be a very successful woman, or you can be a woman who's working very hard, you know, taking care of herself, and you still are able to work on your second chakra, which is the sacral chakra, the sexual chakra. The sexual chakra is not only about sexuality, it's the chakra of creativity. You know, the same way that we create here, you know, with the womb, it's where we create life. Well, if you start creating things, if you start working on your creativity, this is going to open your chakra. Also things that have to do with movement, with moving what is here. So it can be dance, it can be uh, yoga, it can be, uh, let's say, swimming, it can be things that really help you move here. And this is going to help you also open your, your second chakra. As women, uh, you know, for, for years now, for centuries, these ancient uh, truths are, are hidden from us. You know, we forget, we have forgotten, and, and most of us don't even know the power that we have as women, which, it, which really lies here. You know, this is where everything starts in the world, and this is really where you can regain your power as a woman. And it's not only to become irresistible to men. Now, I know you're watching this video, you clicked on the title, I think beyond that, it's really being irresistible to life in a way. You know, when your uh, your your sacral chakra is open, then you attract things in your life more easily. You feel better. You look better. You just you're just kind of a magnet for everything that you want in your life. Remember, we all have seven chakras, but for the woman, it's the sacral chakra that is most important. For the man, it's the root chakra that is most important. That's why when a man is successful, when he has a lot of money, when he is powerful, women are drawn to him because his root chakra is opened. You know, it's not about, uh, very often people think, oh, you know, it's about, you know, his money and all these women are gold diggers and things like that. No, it's really in our spirit and is inside of us. When we see a man who is successful, ambitious and powerful, and he's secure in himself, women are drawn to him. It's normal. It's because his root chakra is open. So it's the same thing when a woman is really comfortable in her sexuality, when she is creative, when she is taking care of her of her sacral chakra. So the worst thing also that you can do is start sleeping around with different men. You're giving away your energy. That's really the worst thing that you can do. So when a woman really understands her power here, well, she becomes irresistible to men. It's as simple as that, really. It's really an ancient truth that has been forgotten for years. So start working on your sacral chakra. If you're a man, start working on your root chakra and you will become irresistible to the opposite sex. So that is it for this week. In the comment section down below, let me know if you know about chakras. Let me know if you want to have more information about all of this. Uh, if you know about chakras, let me know maybe which chakra of yours is less open or more developed. Perhaps you've already started this very important work. Don't forget to like the video, of course, to share it with all of your friends, because I think that this is valuable information uh, that people can really use. Like I said, not only to be irresistible to the opposite sex, but to be irresistible to life and to attract all of the things that you deserve having in life. So that is it for this week, and I will see you next week.